to PTL Open Day 2, uh, live to air for Board the Mist Hunter. You are listening to Radio Black Sun. Your, your hosts today are the people you had yesterday. I am again with the master plan, Zuckus. And I'm everyone's favorite one-point crew. I'm the insectoid droid. I am Forlom. We are the guys with the bug eyes. So let's get this party started. Looks like we got Christian, who's Armada National Champion. Turns out he plays X-Wing as well. Yeah, he's kind of a good Swarm player. Turns out he knows what's going on. On the other side of the table, it's legendary Alan Fung, the man with the hair. Now, you can't actually see the hair right now, but let me tell you, it looks good. It's there. It's there. It's, it's, better, there. it's better than his list. It's like a sixth man no, for no. him. I guarantee you'll see it. You'll yes. see it. We're going to put him on stream just so you can no, see no. his hair. No, no, he will show us. He'll he will in. show us, right. absolutely. Stylists are on cue, ready to go. Make sure it's quaffed. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about these lists, because I see some ships, I don't even know what they do. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got another treat for you today, if you're, if you're a fan of interesting looking stuff. We've got, both these players uh, have uh, a unique play style, and the fact that um, Alan has now just uh, ascended to Super Saiyan level 5. He's so godlike, he doesn't even have to try anymore. So what he's doing is he's asking other players who are part of the PTL community who couldn't show up today <laughs> to give him lists to run. Yes. So he didn't even know what he was going to be bringing today. Um, he got three lists from three of our different members. And um, a unfortunately, he's a power gamer, so he decided to pick his best list. Well, I mean, you're good for a reason, aren't That's you? That's right. I mean, top, top guys get there by being the top so dogs. Today he's running Papa Joe's list. Yeah. It's uh, Wes Jansen, Veteran Instincts, R3A2, Integrated Astromech. So for our viewers at home, Zuckus, what, what does Wes Jansen do? Is he even a guy? Is he Wes, a hoe? Wes Jansen's that guy who, you know, you might have heard him in passing, as Garvin said, Good shot, Jansen! Uh, he's one of the X-Wing pilots that unfortunately gave his life in the heroic uh, destruction of the first Death Star. Uh, rip. Rip, rip, Jan Wes Jansen. Um, but his ability is phenomenal, actually. Uh, what, he, what he does is after he's fired upon you and you've finished modifying your dice and all that's been finished, he can then uh, obsessively shoot off one of your tokens. So, uh, so, and then him coming in at VI with R3A2 means he's a PS10 uh, pilot that not only stresses you before m almost 99.9% .9 of your ship's fire, he's also going to strip one of your tokens. So it's pretty debilitating. And that's, he's kind of the core of Joe's list. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I've actually faced this list a few times. Most times it ends very quickly for me. Uh, I got smoked by it quite a few times. It's quite powerful. So is the plan of attack here then you're going to use West to... Uh remove focuses off of your opponents like the I guess the heavy hitter so Biggs lives longer is that the plan of attack and that's basically it. you want the longer you keep and any Biggs player will tell you uh, any rebel player will tell you the key to the Biggs is every round he's alive past first engagement is a bonus round for your other ships to just destroy your opponent's list even with the slight nerf to him saying that you know if you have a secondary weapon you could target other ships that's not gonna be a factor in this game but Every every advantage you can give your bigs is a huge one. Yeah, absolutely. Coming on the third ship here, we have a Lothal Rebel with my absolute favorite build, Fire Control Systems, Auto Blaster Turret, Hera, Han Solo. So the Fire Control Systems, we all know what it does. You shoot, you grab a target lock. Han Solo is a cool crew because you get to spend that target lock as a focus if you want. Um, and you have Hera, so that means you can do as many red maneuvers as you want. So you can K-turn every turn, which means generally that Lothal Rebel's not going to have an action. And you don't really care. You got fire control systems in Han Solo. It's either a focus or a target lock every turn. And with the four dice primary, generally you're getting three hits every time. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but with the FCS and target lock, can't you... No, you won't, because the interaction with FCS is now you don't acquire the target lock That's at the right. end of the attack. That's right. Okay. So you the, have the fire control... Sorry, you have the target lock or the focus. Okay, now let's take a look at Christian's phenomenal list. Now... Again, not necessarily the most top tier, but Christian loves to fly his swarms, and he loves flying really weird, awesome jank. And now at first glance, you might say, like, oh, that's a, that's a weird list, that's not going to do anything. But Christian specializes in flying lists that you look at at paper value, and you turn your nose up to yeah. it, and then you get yeah. wrecked with it. You're like, what happened? Um, and this is a really, really unique list in the fact that he's got, again, his favorite thing is a swarm, which means all of his PSs are the exact same. He knows he gets to choose what everything moves, and every single one of his ships is rocking a tactician that's one two three four five stress if you happen to get into range two that's one round of firing completely crushes and takes your entire action economy out of the game or he plays it smart and he can like stagger them mm -hmm. so that if you were to gun in really fast the guys in the back would be in range two if you just slow rolled it a bit the guys in the front would be in range two mm -hmm. so you wouldn't get five stress going that way but you would pretty much guarantee something's getting a stress now it doesn't hurt the lofo rebel very much but if, you know, your opponent rocked, uh, like, an Imperial Ace, a Suter Fell, an Inquisitor, 
uh, uh, defender, you, you're just, they're just gonna melt. Yeah, this list is absolutely debilitating to any action-heavy ship. In fact, actually, this might be uh, a bad counter for Christian's list because nothing on Alan's list cares about stress. Uh, as you said, uh, the, with Hera on board the Ghost, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Wes is already rocking a, a, a stress droid anyway, so he's not gonna. He's gonna be stressed infin at infinitum too. And uh, and Biggs is Biggs. I mean, he's really just there to be a bullet sponge. Yeah, well, I mean, Biggs has R four D six, so he usually in this instance he won't stress himself because Christian's never gonna get more than two hits. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, he doesn't even really care about it. I guess with Wes though, because he has the R three A two, he does shoot you and take a stress, but he can do a green maneuver on the next turn. That is true. And generally, when Joe plays this, he doesn't expect to be buried under five stress. So so, in fact, if Christian does decide, if, if there's a way he can engage this in a situation where he gets to shoot at Wes um, and not have to shoot at Biggs, that would be huge because then he could bury Wes underneath stress and at that point he might not want to be able to use three R3A2. Three, Plus, uh, Christian's list seems to be pretty stress agnostic as well because they've got bombers, they've got a decent enough greens and and uh, we should talk about uh, what makes his list super interesting yeah. is his ships one, two, and three. Yeah, so he's got the hot cop. Everyone hates Hot Cop. It's such a good upgrade. Mm -hmm. You shoot your opponent, they spend their focus. They shoot you, they spend their focus. They spend their focus. You're not having focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and that coupled with the Operation Specialist, which is amazing. So everyone can take target locks. The first guy misses, everyone gets a focus. Mm -hmm. Actually, everyone gets two focuses. Two because operations. the second one misses, then they've got the rest of the That's three right. all get focuses. So you've got at least three ships shooting at focus target lock, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. The Hot Shot Co-Pilot fires first, strips the token, then the Opspec guys go. Maybe they get hits, maybe they don't. And everybody's going to have double action economy. Again, it's a very interesting and unique list. It's now, uh, Christian is up against the wall. I mean, he is going against a 955,000 hull rebel list, <laughs> yes. so there's not much he can do. Um, but his his ghost has, what is that, a seven-point hull upgrade? Because, you know, Biggs is beside him. So. That's right. But everything is very low agility, so the two dice can cause damage. This is what made the Crack Swarm such a powerful and terrifying thing against the big base meta earlier on, is that two dice ships can plink and melt you down. While Christian isn't rocking Crack Swarms, and we should say he's a phenomenal Crack Swarm player, yes. so that was his jam but until everything in the meta kind of pushed poor Crack Swarms out. Um, you know, he, he knows how to do this, so this, this is definitely going to be an interesting game, and you can already see we've got some interesting stuff going on with the way he's staggering his fleet, and... Uh, at the very least, whether whether it's quick or whether it's long, you're going to see some interesting stuff going on because we do have two ridiculously quality players. Yes. As much as we as much as we like to jaw jaw jack and, and chirp, we've got some amazing dudes up there for us, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And they're going to give it a good give us a good match. Absolutely. Now it is interesting to know because we did mention that Alan's list is beefy with the ghosts. Mm -hmm. the, Christian's list is nothing to sneer. You got five ships with six hull each. That's thirty damage Alan has to do to wipe the table. That's absolutely true. And with him being, he's going to be so overwhelmingly action starved. I, I, I don't see him doing more than one or two damage coming out of those X-Wings, which they're normally really right. terrifying. You know, and the other interesting thing to talk about is that Alan also loves to fly mini swarms. Back in his day, he was a yeah, he liked fire spray king, and he would love to have four ship Imperial. Uh, I mean, you know, four TIE Academies was, was the thing he used to love to fly too. So if you guys are curious as to why the rock deploy, deploy, deployment was done the way it was, considering that Alan has a big base ship, I'm sure he's very confident that he knows what disrupts a swarm as well because he's flying yeah. blown swarms a lot. And, and that formation does do. And so you see him trailing the ghost through there it looks like alan's trying to force christian to commit through the rocks and have to break up his formation which as any swarm player knows is your power yes and the laneways are huge for the ghost the ghost has no problem doing a 5k every turn it doesn't need its actions so if he comes in with the, if christian comes in with the swarm it's not super advantageous for him so no shots on the first turn here so if you're christian what are you doing here are you going to try to do the one bank and maybe get some shots off on bigs or just just everyone 5k that's what i was thinking maybe i just that would be an interesting little dance for everybody just a 5k and then kind of force alan to commit through the rocks i mean with the uh, with the op spec he doesn't care if he, everyone's stressed that's exactly it he's gonna get those focus tokens if he misses anyways and he if they're in range too he's gonna just spray stress all over everybody's faces so that was a weird analogy sorry guys <laughs> I, 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 stress I, 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 yeah i heard it as i was saying it and i didn't stop myself i apologize that's how we do in the scummy world. <laughs> uh, but I mean, now, so if you're, if you're, I was about to say if you're Joe, if you're, you're Joe, Alan, what do you do? Uh, I think you try to bait him in. Like, losing one turn by, you know, K-turning and see if he'll commit doesn't do anything. We still have 70 minutes, 75 minute rounds, you know. It's not a big deal. Um, take Or you take your time, you know. I mean, the ghost can K-turn. He's probably not going to get shot. Mm -hmm. And then you can maybe even just take your time with those X-Wings. Just do the one straight. See what happens. Yeah. Um, 
the power of a lot of these rebel ships is that one straight. Take your time, see where yeah. your opponent is going to end up, and then you commit to your direction. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And he's got that auto blaster to cover his side flanks so from anybody at range one, which I mean would probably be where if Christian could get into range one, that would really unlock the terrifyingness of his list because then you're looking at five ships with three dice. That's each, right, and, and that's a heavy amount of fire. Christian doesn't care at all about that auto blaster turret. One two damage. You could probably sure. get hit. he's probably gonna get hit anyways. He doesn't have he doesn't have exactly. frames on any of his bombers, so exactly. he's only rolling. But that, it's interesting, you know, they're they're all have the same agility here, so it's going to be interesting to see other than the ghost, of course, which is a giant punching bag. Yep, that's all it does. It takes way too long to die. <laughs> For 42 points, it takes way too long to die. Yeah. Yes. 100%. Yeah, because the thing is, I don't know. I mean, at this situation, I mean, Kristen could try to thread the needle through that two rock, but it would take him so many turns to get through that. I don't think, I don't think he wants to do that. I think if he wants anything, he wants the... The laneway between those two rocks at the yes. top, top left uh, table edge. To the left of the ship left of the ghost. Yeah, ship left of the ghost. That's, yeah, that I agree seems with like that. the most logical laneway for him to come through. And I'm thinking he was hoping that was gonna be where their joust took place. So I, I think that was really great move on Alan there on turn two to turn his entire ghost. And oh Christian says let's go for it, brother. I've seen him play. He knows how to do that. He can easily get through them. Just the problem is you're probably gonna end them up in a conga line. That's These true. are gonna take a little bit of time. So the back people might not get a shot. You really want those five ships shooting at one time to really maximize the punching of the list right yeah it does look like he feels confident he's going to be able to thread this thread yeah. through this and i mean just based on those two movements it looks like it's going to be okay uh christian isn't as scared to break up his swarm when he's playing i've seen him play a few times yeah he knows that you know what if i have to break it i'll break it and i'll figure it out he's again he just always manages to keep all of his ships from from kind of doing crazy things it'll get a little bit complicated once you get into all these rocks but you know i'm sure he's confident that he can handle it out for sure and now he's got a hard two with that bomber to chase down that side depending on where big yep. go, where the ghost goes and Maybe that was the best call. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, these the bomber, you think it's slow, but it's really not that slow. That is true. It really isn't. I mean, it's got a three bank. It's got the 5K. It's got a four straight. It's actually far from a slow sure it has a three turn as well, right? It might actually. I think it's I think red, it's, though. That's fine. I might be, yeah. I might be mistaken. I, I usually fly a Doom Canoe, but I, I don't ever do anything besides a one straight with that one. <laughs> one straight and then it dies. One straight explodes. That's basically all <laughs> That's basically what it does, yeah. yeah. Now, would well, you think the focus was the right, the right option? Wouldn't you go for the target lock? I think maybe he oh. thought that was... Interesting. Oh, that looks like rock to me. That, that is does not look like good for, for the hair. Looks like I can see a little bit of the hair right there now. It is. It there shines. it is. It looks good. It glistens. Oh, on Ooh. the rock. I think I think Alan anticipated the K turn here. It looks like Alan is hungry and he's made a reservation at the Hard Rock Cafe. Or he thinks that the opponent's just going for bigs. Hey, that's free damage. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah. Only 700 more to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what, though? Maybe Alan was actually trying to gum up the works for, for Christian, because now he can just... He's basically kind of screwed Christian into in the next turn. Yes, that's He true. might have figured, you know what? I don't really need my ghost to shoot this turn, because it's going to be live forever. Yep. And I bank everybody in, and I just... Yeah, they're rebel players, right? You know, he's... Maybe he's going to take a play out of the Paul Heber playbook and be like, rocks? What rocks? I mean, it's a good call, because remember, he can't shoot. The Christian can't shoot the ghost this turn. Yep. He has to shoot Biggs, and Biggs is going to be at range three, and looks like it's probably going to be obstructed. Actually, it does look like entirety of Christian's back bank, bank uh, I think maybe even from ship three and on, is actually going to be able to light up that ghost. But do you want to shoot the ghost? Do you want to split your damage? I mean, if I can get one, two, three, four shots into a ghost that can't fire back, I take that eight damage. But next turn, that ghost is 100% doing the 5k. Yes. So you're not going to get to shoot it next turn. You know what would be godlike if Christian did a hard two with uh, Bomber 2 and then Barrel roll to block that 5k just That would be Alan, genius. And well, then he could 5k turn with the rest of them. And then they would be locked into doing the hard one on the next turn with the ghost. It would pretty much be out of the fight for quite a while. That's yeah. a very smart maneuver. Yeah. So we're just trying to see if with, with what West can shoot. It looks so like he's going to shoot at the lead. Uh, yep. Going after number five. So that means that looks like uh, numbers one, two, three, and four on the bombers are going to shoot the ghost. Looks like they're out of range. Yeah. So based or they on... can shoot West. No, oh, sorry, Biggs. Yeah, Biggs. Yeah. But based on the um... oh, we're just checking for. Oh, I see. I confused now. the two ships. Yeah, they can shoot Biggs. Yeah, you keep Biggs in the in the front to protect West. Now, it's also sort of interesting. I've seen when Joe's flown this, he actually sometimes flies west in front of Biggs because he knows that that's kind of like that Biggs armor. As long as you're in that bubble, you've got that armor, and it get, lets west jump out there. Now, again, that's difficult to do unless you have lots of experience flying X-Wings, and but Papa Bear Joe knows how to fly X-Wings. Now, when I've flown Biggs, I, sometimes I like to keep Biggs out of that first engagement just to keep him alive an extra turn. That first turn, the damage goes through, and you don't really care if it's on your ghost. Mm -hmm. And then the next turn, Biggs is in there, and now you can't shoot the target. You shot the turn before, and it's very confusing for your opponent. Right. 
All so right, that's, three hits that's, here. So I'll just decide to just roll a god. That works out. And, and Christian three of eights. All roll right. God. So we, we've just said, okay, I'll see your god dice technique, and I'll raise you god dice technique. That's it. I love it. This looks like Vix's is shot now. Yep, you got it. And as you can see, Wes Jansen obviously shot off that focus token after it was done. Yeah. Which he'll just get back when he misses with spec. That's correct. All right, rolling the dice. It's yeah. like one hit and some paint. I think you saved that focus. For yeah, you saved defense. that focus. Because I think you're right. I think uh, I think Christian's... Okay, so based on that measurement right there, that it's a range three, so Bomber three is going to have to shoot at Vix. That's right. And that's nada. So that's one damage through onto Bomber five, it looks like. That's no big deal Which for is his least important bomber, which is also smart. Uh, Christian's decided to put both of his yes. least important bombers in the front and his most important bombers on the ship. In that way, that's right. a very good call, yeah. yeah. So he is going to decide to start with the ones that have to shoot at Biggs. That's yep. very smart him measuring ship three. Um, I think he's doing that because that's the hot cop one. See, it's almost like he knows how to play this. Oh, hot fire. Hot fire. And just, right. and and just Alan, casually rolling three of eights. This, this is how you become national champion. So you just don't roll blanks. I'm just going to casually roll through three yeah, of eights. It's fine, it's fine. You know. you know, between this last round of fire, and those guys have rolled more evades than I did in all of Naboo Open. Yes. <laughs> yes, me as well, on my <laughs> leader. Yeah. But I mean, again, that's why they're at top tables, and that's why we're commentating. That's right. <laughs> Just got to roll better. Roll superior. All right, so then here comes, I think, Bomber 5, looks like. Yep. You got it. What hit with crit? Hot fire. You should keep those dice aside. Excuse me. Oh, nothing. 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 So, be be and that's where the hot cop comes in now, and now that's... Two damage through onto Biggs. It was only one. It was only one. one. All right, it was only one. blocked by his hand. Yeah, it's tricky to see. So we got a range three obstructed range, here yeah. on Biggs. Yeah. I it's mean, quite... Alan did put himself in a phenomenal place. Behind that rock, it's giving Biggs so much cover. And that's one crit, which will probably be evaded. Yeah. Casually, of course. Yep. Yeah, the one. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Alan. Hey. Yeah. But there, is, there you see the there you see Opspec kicking and all those focuses just being doled out and now. Yeah. And it's a comes, little ridiculous. Here comes shots on the ghost. Range. So here comes just probably what you want at this point. The two dice versus the the four dice on Biggs because he's range three obstructed is not what you want. No. And also, in all fairness, I feel like I feel like once you finally get Biggs down to already have oh hit crit to already have uh, almost five or six damage into a ghost that's going to be really helpful. Yes. Because then, if you finally have some ships that survive this engagement of killing Biggs, you've actually got a chance. And you know what? That rock placement was huge for, for Christian then. Because to not have to worry about taking six dice or five dice from that ghost mm -hmm. is massive. So he comes and again, all you know, the stress. It's not like the ghost all cares the about that stress, but you know. All the stress. And uh, I mean, I'm really enjoying Christian's dice rolling technique here. It seems to be yeah, really, really. It seems like he knows how to roll dice well, and and that's that's a good thing to do. Looking at that ghost, it almost looks like you're equipped to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> that you would think, right? Totally nerfed you. Yeah. I'm still good on the first engagement. That's right. For your one point, you're you're doing okay. Just give me just give me a, a, a bushy tailed and bright eyed inspiring recruit, and we're good to go. <laughs> Are we replacing Dengar for inspiring recruit? Screw Dengar. He's already got Manaru. I got nothing. So it looks like, you know, Christian came out the winner of this this round. That turn, yes. But now what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Does it all go pear-shaped? Uh, I mean, if Christian's smart enough to hit the block with uh, bomber number two, could be interesting. But I mean, what if, but what if, again, this is what we got to say. This is, this is you know, Alan. He, he generally thinks three and four turns ahead. What if he thinks that's coming and he just says, you know what, whatever, I'm going to go one straight with my ghost. You know, I probably would... And then you've got a bomber completely out of position and your whole squadron's broken yeah, up that's and that's true. exactly what Alan wanted. It might not be a bad call for Christian just to go one straight with everything and just take out Biggs. Yeah. Just I mean, try to nuke him down. Biggs is hitting that rock this turn. Unless Alan decides to do the hard two to the right and go towards Coruscant, you know, back up towards his corner. I think with the one straight, you're still getting three, four shots regardless of where he goes. Yes, you'd be correct in assuming that. Yeah, that's, you know what, that's... That's true. It's just the question is here: Does Bomber Five bump the Ghost if he goes one straight? And I think that answer is yes. And yes. that that's a bump train. And then that um, that bump train. Well, does it, does it? Yeah, it's true. Up, uh, up, back. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and that's the power of his list. He doesn't care. But then he's not getting any offensive focuses for when he takes the shots from Wes or when he takes that's the true. shots from Big. So having that one focus token, even if it mitigates one damage on your bomber, that goes a long way. But there you can see up on our overlay there, for Biggs is down one shield, that's meh. But the ghost is already almost into hull, and he didn't take any, he took one damage. So Biggs is going on the rock, so Biggs can't, Biggs can't shoot. Assuming he goes on the rock, of course. And then, 
five probably is going to end up bumped on on the ghost, which means he can't shoot five either. So it's really just West shooting a full health bomber. If that's all that ends up being the trade, that's good. But I think you're like you're right. I think Christian decided to just let Alan have the five K turn, which if Alan decides to do, he'll give him you know impunity to basically have a Christian's entire list in a flank. That's right. And you don't want a five damage, you know, five dice ghost behind your entire swarm because he'll be just just obliterating bombers. The bombers do have a five K as well, so they can turn around on the next turn and get some shots off. That's also a good point. It's a very big K turn you know, for those little ships. I, I, at the original outset, we were we were joking how we were going to troll for like, oh, well, you know, one of these lists is far superior to the other. Very, it's not looking that way in the slightest. No, not at all. Which is a really wonderful thing to see happen. Again, you know, our, our, our one earlier game yesterday, we were worried that it would be a bit tougher for Mike. Yeah, on the T seventies, but he pulled out an awesome win. I mean, it was a tough match, and it was a great, great fought match. But you can never discount what's going on. And I guess that's at the end of the day, it's. You know, and it's important for people out there, if you're getting a little fatigued with maybe the super competitive ultra high-end meta, take a look at what some of the stuff you're seeing on the stream is and be like, you know, you can be super creative and, and, and still come out on top. Just focus on your amazing fundamentals. It's like any competitive game. You know, you there's a reason why, you know, three-time champion and, and one-time open winner. I mean, what does Paul play? He plays simple, quality stuff, and he just right. outplays everybody and That's wins. Right. And I mean, that always works, right? Yep. Like, I mean, I've seen him play in person a couple times, and you know, the, he's, the dude's just a god because he's very quality. So and that can happen sometimes. Here's the question. Yeah. Bomber number one. If he does a barrel roll, ship right backwards? He... Does he block that K-turn? I don't know. You fly ghost more than I do. I want to say yes. Here oh, comes. I think he's going for it. I think he goes for it. It doesn't put him drastically out of position either. So that was far superior to that my blocks. R2 idea. That definitely blocks. And then the ghost is on a rock again if it blocks. Yes. And oh this my is God. it. This is this is a game clenching turn. Oop. Oh. That's how you become champion. That's how you get good. Get good, as they say. So he has to roll again and he takes okay. an additional stress. Uh why would he take a stress? Uh because he did a five K. Right. He luckily takes no damage. Right. Yeah, but he's on a rock again, so, so this, Alan is, this is, just, is a terrible turn. Alan has just elected to remove all of his stress except for one to signify that the ghost is now infinitely full, uh, stressed. Okay. Because he's at five stress already. You're never clearing that five he's stress. He's going to hard one or 5k again next turn. That's right. And yeah, he's going to get lit up by these bombers. So again, Christian's showing us a really amazing formation. So I'm thinking... Spigs land on the rock as well. This, oh, this he clears. Be it. I think he clears. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he, he lands on the rock. He, he either hits the ghost before he goes on the rock or he's on the rock. Oh, he's on the rock. 100%. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is a bad turn for Alan. This is a bad turn. So while I have to admit his initial idea of... Oh, and damage. He took a crit. Yeah, that's a crit. Shield. Well, it's on the shield still. And so West, West is going to... Yeah, oh. West is going to bump. So unfortunately, Alan's entire maneuver was, was predicated on him pulling that uh, 5k. Now, does West hit the rock? I don't think so. No, I, think he's I don't okay. think so. Okay, okay. so at least he's going to be able to fire with West. But now that's one... One dead Biggs. <laughs> yeah, ideally, yeah. Now again, Biggs is gonna get the debris, so he is gonna have yeah, three destruction for yeah. sure. But no modifiers. I mean, can we can we talk about Christian's maneuver there? It was very <laughs> well thought out. I mean, right? Very well thought out. The one straight was very good call. And you could even tell he did the two bank, hoping to get an angle on the ghost that let his uh, three bomber potentially fit in there. Yeah, the, the, the really and it smart... it was close. It always a very close bomb. The smart move about that, it gives one of the gentlemen a focus, which means that that guy can shoot with focus Yeah, as well, so right? Alan's well, electing to go for some damage, as he's a little bit behind the eight ball here now, and oh, mm. that's unfortunate. He's not getting the dice he needs. And that's a range one. Are they checking if it's range one? Uh, I think they're checking if it's obstructed or not. Ah, uh, okay. No one knows. No, they're checking range. Oh, are they checking range one? Okay. So. Yeah, it's range one. Okay. So it would be unobstructed. All right. So it's obstructed. Oh, it is obstructed. Range one obstructed. Okay. And, and it's one of eight, so okay. he's going to take the crit. Which we want to see blinded pilot looks direct. Like it looks like double damage. Yeah, it looks like direct. That's okay. I think Christian is happy with that. I think he'd rather have that than a blinded at this point. Oh, 100. I think you always take the double damage over a blinded unless you're Corrin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think in almost every situation, you know, the almost... I'd almost rather have any other crit besides blinded yeah well this is a clench turn yeah, yeah. if you take out bigs this turn and you've only taken you well, know, this is a three range, damage on a bomber this is a laughing. range three obstructed shot right. that's not gonna that's do the it. miss that's what you want 
Or maybe yeah. you don't want it. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that is the that was the ops. So Christian decided to use the op spec one first to yep. get some focus tokens out there on the field. Um, and now he's kind of hand gesturing and explaining what happened there. Alan is going to not roll the defense dice on the two rolls. So that's totally fine. And then there is a range two obstructed on Biggs. Yep. And then number two, it's going in order. Or maybe he's just going to no. go with the range one first now. Okay. Right, so he's firing off with number five. Yep. Range one obstructed. And all right, that's three nice. hits. Three that's hits. what you want. So. Ooh, he gets one of eight only, so he's taking two more. I think you're right. He's taking two no matter what happened there because he has R four D six, right? That is a good point. So definitely, I, I, it's looking like we're going to see a dead Biggs this turn. Yes. Which is massive. That's huge. So I think now if I'm Christian, I try to kill Biggs as fast as possible and then use the rest of my bombers to pour as much damage into that ghost as possible. Yep. That makes that sense. That does look like what he's trying to do. Shooting shoot. five was a very smart call because you had the range one on, yeah. on him and everyone else on the range one on the ghost regardless, yeah. right? Yeah, one damage now coming through and then and Biggs debates that. Debated that. Which is helpful. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to pop integrated. So uh, Big still has two health left though with integrated in, on key, so he can still. He has three health. Does he have three left? Oh, he's, he's three. He's with down the to one. He's down to one. He's oh, he's down, down to one. one so yeah. he's two left with the integrated. Yeah. And there's two bombers left to shoot, right? Ooh, Ooh that's, that's what, what Alan needs to see. Yeah. It's not what Christian needs to see. No. But and that's the danger of flying, you know, single action simple swarm ships is that sometimes you just don't get what you need out of your dice and sometimes you do which you got right there that's what you want yeah and that's well, going that's, to be a that's dead, dead big boo even with the integrated he still takes the two it would have been rough either way he was hitting that rock again next turn that's true so that's true this is not looking super great for uh, the hair no it's not I mean we can just say that it's not his list and that's, that's the reason why it's Joe's fault oh I mean he's Canadian national champion let's not give this guy a break <laughs> no, it's not. No, exactly. No, I mean, like to be fair, you know, I, I think I've seen Alan fly Rebels three times. One of which, like, he flew at uh, Naboo. Yeah, and, and one of which he flew it. in Ottawa. Both of which he made the cut. Yes, both of which were lists that he put together the day before. Yeah, they were his medical lists, and they ended up working out. And you know, uh, I think that's just what it is. I think he just he just wants to get representation for all the lists and the people who give him. And as we were saying earlier, so and I also think maybe he maybe felt that he didn't want to see another imperial shit list on stream. So mm -hmm. we had we've had a lot of imperials here so far, yeah. and uh, Alan's other two lists were imperials. So he thought maybe you know what I don't ever fly rebs. Let me show, let me try some rebs. So so if we have both Canadian national champions for Armada and X Wing respectively, that's true. If Christian wins, does that mean Armada is a better game? Oh, Ooh. eject. I'm not, I'm I think our viewers one. just went down huge. Oh, oh. I'm not taking that one. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking that one. Uh, they're different. They're different games. And to be fair, Christian was an X-Wing player first. So there we go. <laughs> so that's the answer. <laughs> I think, like I said, I mean, yes, that was a really bad plan. But, I mean, I think Alan's plan on the initial engagement was actually quite brilliant. Yes. It Locking was up card. that rock formation and all that stuff. I just think that maybe he didn't. I think maybe he thought he could get that 5k turn off, and had he gotten the 5k turn off, that would have been amazing positioning. Yes. Biggs would have slipped into a range one of a bomber. Wes would have been in a good position to light somebody up. Like, it was an amazing turn. It's just that that clutch barrel roll from Christian was brilliant. So, and that's basically it. Sometimes the game can turn on one decision, and that, and then when you take your whole list to Crash Town, that, that, that ends up happening, right? It's tricky with, uh, with ships like the Lofo, because you know your, your opponent's going to do the 5k. So it's really easy for you to anticipate it, you know? That's true. Uh, so what are we doing here if you're a Christian? Are we just okay. back More on... the same? I think. Back on Bump City? Do we care? No, I think... I think... I think, yeah. I think I just won forward the front three. Yep. And just so come up... So numbers the... three, four, now, and five? here's the thing. He can no longer block a 5k. No, he cannot. He's going to have to move forward. That's right. So I think... Okay, there you go. Yep, I love it. Just do it. Because I don't think, based on that information, the... I don't think uh, Bomber 5 clears his K. Or he might. No, he will clear it. He'll clear it for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest thing to do, he's, you know, his formation, the way it's fanned out like that, is super strong. I mean... Yeah, the fanning is huge. And the op spec makes it so that he doesn't really need to worry too much about missing. I think you 5K your entire team. Are we going after the Lothal if you're Christian now, or are we going after West? I think you go after the Lothal because it's just a bullet sponge. It's easy for you to burn it down with your ship. The thing is, he needs as many ships as possible to burn down that Lothal as fast as possible mm -hmm. and then once that he can start losing them West can't beat five bombers no 
as good as Alan is, that's going to be very difficult. So Alan really needs to get that lo that Lothal in there with either the two blaster, auto, the two dice auto blaster, or that four or five dice primary, mm -hmm. and, and just start wrecking face with the lo Lothal, which he can still totally do. The Lothal only has still has one shield left and still sitting on a stack of eight hull. So you know this is far from far from being a simple thing. So he's just going to self go for the bar player. That's interesting. See, I would have thought he would have five k number five first. So number four would be closer to the local rebel, mm -hmm. um, in which so hopefully just a bump Wes. I so think Wes exactly, took a bump yeah. there. That would be a bad turn. And so he'd be out of position, have nothing to shoot. I think that's exactly what Christian's hoping for. And you know what? Depending on what Alan does, that that bump on the West might put him back on the rock. And I think that's what he was going for. But I wonder if I think West, the one straight is going to clear. Yeah. So Alan was was probably anticipating that he would get reverse mm -hmm. bumped and decided to. Close. He should be fine. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Okay. And that's a range one shot from Jansen, so yep. someone's gonna feel that. And that's tactician. That's a that's shuttle five, the one that's most damaged. So that's correct. Alan can get some serious damage out of here. But he should be able to take this one out. Just PS kill it. If you don't kill it, he only has three hull left. I mean, he will get. Nope. Oh, that's garbage. Now, do you keep your focus for defense or do you go for damage? He's spending it to go for damage. damage. Yeah. The and local rebel does have a higher pilot skill than, rough. than the scimitar. Um, yeah. So you could potentially have killed it before it shot. That's true. But unfortunately, Christian evaded all the damage. Mm -hmm. Well, not unfortunately. I mean, unfortunate for Alan. Yes. It's tricky with those two dice ships. Sometimes when you get the two evades, they last a I know. long time. And that's the attrition thing that you don't want to... That's the thing, right? Sometimes like, that little hawk just won't die. Yeah. <laughs> and so now it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um... Because that one does that bomber five took a crit. I'm not sure which one it was, but I'm not sure if it's really gonna matter for the way Christian's list is built. Crits don't really do anything to him except for maybe no, not even because the damage cockpit doesn't really care because no, it's just the oh, it is damage, damage cockpit. cockpit. Okay, so, so damage cockpit does nothing because in all fairness, that's probably the one who's probably gonna move first anyways. That's the one that's least important to his list. It's just a generic tactician shot. Oh. So, so Christian's showing us exactly how you beat Alan. You just basically never miss with your dice. That's what you need. Only roll two. Apparently. Apparently that helps. I should try that. I should ask Christian to show me how to roll dice. So that's a range two obstructed, I think. Looks like it's obstructed, yep. I'm ruling that for two obstructed. That's what I would call. Uh, looks right to me. Mm -hmm. But as always, a little bit of the camera angle makes it a little tricky for us to see. Yeah, well, Alan put an extra stress down, so that would mean... Oh, so they're really not obstructed, so but two was range two. Okay. All right. And that's definitely so he's going be. for Wes. Yeah, so I guess he's figured to put a... Well, he's just measuring for his off spec now. Mm -hmm. So I guess Christian says that he's a bit more intimidated by the West Jets and wants to get him up the board first if possible. I guess he figured he had two range one shots. That would be a good time to... Yeah, that's what I usually... I like to play it like that. I'll shoot my two range one shots, see what the damage looks mm -hmm. like, and then you can make the decision, oh, does number three shoot him as well? He has one Ouch. all left. Or... That's just took two. So unfortunately, I, he had, Alan had to spin focus on his uh, offense and left him with nothing left. So this is the second uh, range one shot from a bomber, and we got what do we got? Two one, hits, one. two hits again, and then one evade. He's taking one more. So that's West down to two hull. One hull. One hull. Do you not take one already? Uh, I don't think so. I might have missed that. I'm pretty sure it was zero the first two times. We might have, we might just get a double check on that. In either case, we'll see if we see you know, our phone. That's finally what Alan needs. Needs some misses. Yeah. That's what he needs. So what we got left? That's, that's it. That's the end of firing. So right. Russ makes it through that without taking it. Uh, well, we're taking quite a bit <laughs> of damage. Uh, and Christian basically only almost lost his one scimitar. Yeah. He's in a really powerful spot here right now to be honest with you he's in a good place now do you use number five to try to block the the cater if you assuming alan will cater with the ghost or with, yeah, with the um, ghost i don't think you need to i think you range i think you just, just go, go one that four and just, and just nuke something with the ghost then again christian's just gonna go one four with the other two bombers and have range one shots on his uh on the willful it's, uh, it's just so tough christian's kind of locked into to try to make sure number five doesn't die, right? Because Alan has to shoot number five. He's only got one hull. Here's the other problem. He also can't five... I don't think he can 5k with number four because I think that ends up on the rock. I don't know. The angle's a bit wonky, so it's hard for me to tell. I mean, even if he does pull it off... We can't turn before he didn't hit the rock, right? Uh, number four? 
No, four. Is... So Alan K turned uh, the Lofo before. Yeah, no, no. I'm talking. Right? I'm talking about Bomber Four for Christian. Oh, right? Bomber Four. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So there is only one hull left on West. Okay. So there you go. Because there was the one hit before the two misses. Okay. So there we are. So we he's ba- so West is sitting on two with our integrated then. That's right. This is a spicy place, and he can't K turn because he's double stressed. That's it. The stress actually came in handy here. It really did, and, and it was and it was just on this exact turn that it actually really mattered. That one range. So it was actually Bomber Three. That's really going to help out because that one um, tactician shot really ended up helping him. Where's right Bomber there. 3 going? Doing the 3 straight? Pretty sure that's green? <laughs> for sure. Just go for right over the rock. Who cares? Yep. He gives 0 f- So we'll say, we'll, we're going to guess that number 5 is going to 5k as well. Because I'm thinking Bomber 3 really does not want to not have an arc. Right. Because he's got a hot shot. Yes. Then again, um, actually hot shot's not going to matter this round because West will not have an action and the ghost is infinite is infinite stressed. So perma stressed. Yep. Yeah. So actually, at this hot point, hot cop is actually just a good four point nothing. Yep. For the Christian, the situation right. with the game state the way it is right now, so that's a non factor. I think it's more about guns. I think he just wants all arcs. Because many arcs are pointed at whatever you're trying to kill as possible. Yeah. yeah because I mean, the one straight sits him on that rock. We don't want to do that. So the only way to clear it is to go the three four and just fly right through it, which means he'll probably five k with. Bomber 5. First, yeah. Um, he might just say forget it and go for the 5k on the Bomber 4, which I don't know. It probably does clear the asteroid, and it's fine. He can just fly through it two turns in a row. It won't really make a difference. He's got yeah, lots I think of bombers. Gonna, I think he'd clear it. And then 1 and 2 just go 1 forward, and then there you go. I'm just going to put... 1 forward or 1 um, bank? Ooh, 1 bank, you're right. The bank might be a little bit spicier. It gives you a little more direction where you think West yeah. is going. Nope, no. 1 straight. And then Christian showing off one of the PTL participation prizes from seasons past. Our... Which is actually the one you were mentioning that you lost. Yes, that's the one that I was mentioning that I had lost and I got back from current league head, Devin Monkhouse. Mine's red to match all the rest of my red templates. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they just say barrel on them. So we usually use them for our boost and barrel actions, but Christian cheating and using it for a 1 straight. So, to bank. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. He's probably then setting up a block. He's trying to hit then. the... Trying to avoid the rock. And like, he... He does He does it. or does not? I think he's good. He's pumping his own Some ship a little bit there. Going on. Some sliding going on now, so... Oh, 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 it's all downhill. No, it's, all, it's all done. No, I think he was no, good. Think, it looked pretty I good. I think they're saying at this point, now forget it. Best intentions. So it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Stress. Everything's fine. And you know what, then? That, that means he's probably setting up a block for Bomber 2, then. The one straight block, clear stress. Yep. Is the one straight green on a Bomber? Yes. I can't remember. Okay. That's handy. I think the Shadow is the only ship. Oh, he did two straight. Green. <laughs> no, no. The, there's, there's a few ships that the one straight isn't green on. Isn't it? I don't think so. Oh. It could be a mistake. I don't know. I fly a lot of Imperials. They don't have one straight, usually. Yeah. So the two straight self-bump, clear stress. That's a smart play. Yep. Puts you in a good spot to be. And I mean, if you guys are seeing a common theme with like Tristan yesterday and, and, and Christian today, like a lot of the swarm players, a lot of good swarm players, the self bump is a very powerful thing when you yeah. do it in the right situation to set yourself up with optimal arcs because yes, you always want actions, but a swarm strength comes in quantity of shots, not necessarily right. high quality shots. That's like right. uh, basically Alan's list is a high quality attack uh, uh-huh. set up. Whereas Tristan's list, uh, Kristen's list is all about quantity. That's correct. And the op spec allows him to add some of that quality back in because you know you're gonna have to do things like this and K turn around because they're bombers. It's a very linear thing that he's flying here, um, and that's where it's a very very interesting list. So there's one hit on that damage too on uh, bomber four. It's uh, interesting to know we've after a couple of rounds here that we've seen a quite a bit of a tie shuttle, like more than you would have thought. Yeah, and I mean, it's not like we went out of our way to constantly show the TIE shuttle, but I think yeah. it's the it's the op spec uh, TIE shuttle. Like it, it really did open up options for Imperial List Building, yeah. especially as as we were saying yesterday, as how Imperial List Building has gone away from the Imperial Ace. Um, there's a new quality of Ace now, mm-hmm. and uh, it's, it's a lot more, you're seeing a lot more, not necessarily jank, but you're seeing a lot more, I guess, uh, tech. It's nice to have term. a little bit of support chips, you mm-hmm. know? So it's an interesting maneuver here going on the self bump. You don't have an action, so it doesn't really matter if you bump or not. So he wanted to set up a shot on something. Yeah, but who? Well, I mean, it's at like this he... point now, it's like... I think he's just trying to pick his battles right now because he's not really going to be able to clear Bomber 5 with Wes. Uh, and Wes is probably going to die this turn. Well, he only has three three bombers that can shoot him. That's true. Um, two of which will be two obstructed. Two of which will be obstructed. One of them might even be range 3 by the looks of it. But, again, op spec. That's true. So... 
Ooh, there you go. Finally, his dice come alive and try to give him a hand. Let's see if Christian rolls all three of eights this time. Uh, he rolls one, so he's going to take a hit crit. I think that was a crit. It might have been yeah. just a hit. No, hit. it was crit. And crit, yes. Uh, looks like... It's hard to tell. Looks like a blinded, but it might not be. Mm, so Christian also rocking that awesome Vader damage deck that we yeah, all picked up at the super nice. Open. That's a beautiful deck. I mean, the Open System series this time had such incredible pricing support. It was... Uh, oh, it's Shaken Pilot. Shaken okay. Pilot. Okay, so can't go straight. That's not a big deal. He just went back next turn. K-turn? Yeah. Ooh, and the ghost not giving him. Oh, so he's gonna let. Yeah, that makes sense. So is that three hits? Looks like yeah, three hits. So ghost using the ship that he has FCS on, which makes the most sense. It allows him to maximize his modifications. So this should be the end of uh, Sigma Five. Uh, yep, Sigma so there's one hall left. Uh, I mean, oh, are you uh, two hits, three hits? So one damage went through. Did it have one or two health left? Uh, I don't know. I think is it had a range one. three obstructed. Then is what they ruled that. Yes. Okay. So I think they're trying to figure out how much damage he had. Which one fired? Which one did they fire? Uh, Number five. The ghost fired at uh, Shuttle Five. Dead. No, it got double damage. No, okay, it's definitely, definitely dead. dead. It's All definitely right. dead. So there's finally something off the board for Alan. Now you can get a little bit of breathing room potentially. Yeah, if Wes, if Wes can make it through this round, Alan is going to be. And actually, that was good because that was one less gun on Wes. As That's well. right. That was huge. So now he's going to take the range two obstructed shot, which means another stress for Wes. It's also one less gentleman who will have a focus, right? Because if the first guy missed, it's two guys who that's shoot with focus. That's also true, yes. That's a good point. That would only would be one. Infinite stress here on everyone. Ooh. And there you go. That's the that's yeah. the no mod the no mod shuttle setup. He's looking for who gets uh, the op spec. Yeah. Remember your triggers, ladies and gentlemen? I think everybody triggers, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like, He's just reconfirming to make sure that. Yeah, it looks yep. like it should be everybody triggering. Yep. Yeah, yeah, safe to us. It's safe to see. Safe to assume that everyone triggers. So positioning next turn, number four, uh, bomber number four is just in a weird spot. I think that. Well, I think. I think he just uh, won banks and maybe he tries to block the four. Okay, maybe he hard twos and well, he can't barrel because it would think. Oh no, the hard two, two bank block. is green. Two bank barrel roll back to try to block the five. Just a two bank probably is a safe maneuver just in general. And then off spec that should be two hits. So yeah. Focus token. Yeah. And then. Mm, whoa. -oh. That's nothing on Biggs. He's gonna. West. So that's West. Is there gone. he goes. Uh -oh. So Allen's evade dice have just said nope. Take that. Yeah. And that's uh that's tough. He, he really hasn't had very good dice results on actually almost any of his rolls. And that is definitely tough. You'd think when you're rolling so many times because you're fighting a swarm, one of those results would go your way, but unfortunately not. Sometimes, sometimes guys, it is a, it is a dice game. Yes. All right, got a range one from this bomber. So, I mean, at this point now, what you're basically going to see is a swarm of piranhas just coming <laughs> yes. to take down the bass. Actually, it looks like from the arc, it might be out range, range two? It yeah, might be a range, range two. two. Yep. Range 2 in arc, of course that's the new cleaned up, unless, what oh, we got some ruling there, what are we going to see? We'll see how many dice push and throws and that'll tell us what they decided. That's it. It did look like it was 2 out of, 2 in arc, or that's right. 1. It definitely looked like 2 in yeah, arc. Yeah, so stress has gone down, so there was definitely okay. 2 out of, 2 in arc. Spend in the target lock. Yep. Yeah. Sure you're on both of them, and nothing. That's, again, that's, that's the kind of stuff that Alan needs, he needs some help. The nope. dice front. Now this is the range one on that last bomber. You're not going to be too, super upset about it at this point. I feel like Christian has a significant advantage. Absolutely. He can't get too mad about what's going on yeah. there. So hit crit. Yep. Looks like a crit's going through into the hall of the Lofo. Yep. And, uh, so that did come through, so the shield would be gone as well on the Lofo because that was a crit that went into the hall. Yep. Sure we'll get a momentary update as to what crit we got. Alan's hoping for those double damages. They're not a big deal. Hmm. Now, so, damage cockpit on the ghost, okay. He has zero. Ooh. Um, so that might not be terrible for Alex. That's actually, a, that's actually good in this situation, potentially, because now he can't get his K-turns blocked. That's right. That's actually potentially That wasn't bad at all. I mean, other than the fact that now he's now shooting last against the entire swarm, that's tough. Um, but Christian's bombers are, are not going to be able to turn around for a bit, because, you know, they've got to clear stress before they can K. 
Um, and he can't get blocked by number four. So well, only, the only ones that can K turn right now are uh, Bomber three and Bomber two. That's right. And they're, they're probably going to K turn. It looks like I would probably do a two turn on number one. Mm -hmm. Probably still give him a shot. Number four will be in a weird position because I would have probably tried to use him as a blocking tool. Yes. Which you can't anymore. So the five K will definitely make it. Yes. And then where does that bomber go? What would you do? Oh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm not actually sure. It's, again, it's a strange situation in now. I mean, but he's got them all pointing in the right direction, so that's that's a wonder. Which, and, but only having two of them stressed means the two of them can do something that the other two can't. So. You think if number four went uh, two bank onto the rock, clearing the stress, would he be out of arc of the ghost? Number four. Oh, you mean two bank to the left? After to ship left, up the yeah. space? Yeah. He could do that, but I mean, if he 5Ks with the ghost, which I think he should, he would not be clear. Uh, but I think Alan's going to want to try to shoot at ghost one. That's the one that's got the most damage, but we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Number four also took a damage as well. So if you're gonna, if you have a chance of the range one, you might take the range one. That's true. Uh, you're getting extra dice. You have no modifications regardless. That's true. Because you can't take an action ever again. And the ship that he had his fire control on was damaged. So. Or maybe Christian's just smart enough to do a two turn and just bump into the ghost. Hard two with that one. Yeah, yeah, the four. Yeah, that would be a great option here because then that would just save him the damage. He doesn't have to worry about the auto blaster. A two bank would be pretty rough because then he would just yeah. be right in the crosshairs of that, that five five damage. It's really all about just keeping these guys alive now. You yeah. win the war as long as you... It's an attrition game. The difference is that Christian's going to get, you know, four, uh, eight dice, whereas... Right. Christian has more health on the table, more yeah. green dice on the table, yeah. more red dice And more table. modifications at this point, too. Exactly. So that makes sense. It's a hard three, which means he's going to be staring at the rock next turn. He can't barrel or anything like that. Next turn, he uh, isn't that guy it. stressed? Uh, he was stressed. So Maybe they might missed have to that. clear that up. Oh, he's oh. looking at the stress now. There, there he goes. Dark go. They're remembering that. Awesome. Which is more important as well because next turn you'd be K turning if you're yeah. stressed. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we, what we thought, we're going to see bombers yep. 3 and 2 K-turn. Taking take a huge advantage of those large 5Ks. Which is very, very, very very interesting. There's not, there is no other ship that I know of in the game that has a 5K besides the Ghost. Uh, the Shadowcaster has a 5K? Oh, well, of course it does. It's a Shadowcaster. It has every maneuver. You know, it needs to have a couple of good maneuvers. I mean, it wasn't a good enough ship. It needed to have every single maneuver. It, it needed would, to be the dash of the scum. I would really only complain if it had a one turn. <laughs> right, yeah, because that would just be ridiculous. It Everything be else it does crazy. is fine. Crazy. Everything else it does is fine. It would yeah. just be ridiculous if it had a hard one. And it's fun because again, the greens are all in the in the threes, so it's a different ship to fly. You're going fast, yeah. whether you like to or not. It's, it's, Unless you have mind link, then you just cash one straight. It's Sanic. Got to go fast. <laughs> Got to go faster. So this is going to be interesting. This poor bomber with a deer in the head. Will it get a now. shot? Nope. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. We're fine. He will clear stress. Too bad he can't boost. And here's the thing again. Now, now, so now basically uh, Alan can, can treat his ghost like a defender. He can just K-turn ad infinitum. There's nothing really well, Christian's going to be able to do to stop it, can he? Or no, does the hard three on that bomber one now block his 5K? Well, yeah, I think... Yeah, remember that he's damaged cockpit, so the ghost will be moving first next turn. Yeah. So I don't think he clears any maneuver next turn, except for like a two turn. So he goes one straight bumps and just smush, smushes whatever's in front of him. Unless those guys move away, out of the way, right? Because number two will probably K turn. I probably just gun. So yeah, so four to target straight. lock because he's planning to hopefully survive this round and four K next turn mm -hmm. target lock on the ghost. Um, now, if you're Allen, well, he's gonna have to wait to fire. So it looks like he's gonna eat two shots. So he's gonna fire with number one first. Yep. Take the far shot and higher chance of missing, especially if it's range three. Mm -hmm. uh, one crit. Yep. It looks like Alan's probably rolling one dice here, or nope. Uh, one. Uh, nope, it's, it's unobstructed, so it's straight through. I thought it was range three. Yeah. Um, so here's actually kind of an interesting situation, though, now. Uh, Christian's op spec is almost never going to trigger, because it's very difficult to miss a ghost. All right. Damage engine was the crit. Turns are already red, so it's not a big deal. No. Especially with hair so with on board, it doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't do anything at all. No. But the difference is, is that Christian's getting some dice consistency here, and he's yes. continuing damage to damage is going damage through. Too. Yeah, he just did more. I think he did two more. Yeah. I think so. If you want to double check, I'm not 100. So we just got more. a console fire there. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. And he's never clearing that console fire, which is a shame because that's potential additional damage every single every unit. single turn. Yeah. That is the dangerous thing about flying big base ships that are high health, low low shields. Once they start to get those crits, they just 
pile up and it's problem after problem after problem on your systems, right? Yeah, because it's an interesting list. I mean, in this list, Joe, uh, Alan's list is really the locals trying to put the big guns down. Mm -hmm. Where I've flown this exact same build on the local consistently, but it's always with Dash. Mm -hmm. And really its function is just, just take shots and die. Just so Dash doesn't take shots and die. Yeah, but unfortunately his two, uh, his two finishing pieces, the, the X-Wings kind of just melted under the sustained fire, which is unfortunate. That's what happens with, you know, low health ships with two of agility. They melt to swarm. Well, I mean, Alan did take a gamble doing that three turn by putting the ghost on the rock. It was a it was a scary move, and maybe he thought Christian was going to go a little faster, so he could definitely complete the maneuver next turn. I mean, as you know, best laid plans and all that. Any any one of us have have hundreds of games where, like, you know, if I would have done this one thing different, yeah, it might absolutely. Have been different. You don't know what you you got to make the best move for the game plan you had in mind and. Like I said, even though it didn't work out, if that 5k would have worked out for Alan, it was a really brilliant plan. The way he initially gummed up, gummed up the works. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate that, that that barrel roll really helped block that ghost, and then it just started that train, that pain train, right? And Biggs being on that rock twice was, was not easy. Yeah. And sometimes with the higher level players, you really have to make these weird maneuvers or mo maneuvers that you would consider to be, you know, abstract or even not good, mm -hmm. just, to, just to mess with your opponent. They're not expecting it, because why would you expect the ghost to land himself on a rock intentionally when you had all the space in the world? Mm -hmm. And then your opponent just completely doesn't plan for the turn, right? Yeah. So now I think if you're Ellen, you one straight bump and sit where you are and try to pick off... Uh, I feel like that's four? definitely the clear maneuver, because but... Because the 5k probably doesn't make it, right? No, it doesn't make it for sure. But, but then again, just can you not just try it? What's the worst that's going to happen? You bump and take a stress and stay where you are? I that's mean, right. That's probably the safe move. I dial in the 5k and, and come what may, I think. I mean, yeah. I'm, I have hair on board. I'm stressed forever. I'm, for sure. I've got systems, fires, and explosions. My ship's exploding all around me. I'm going to go down a blaze of glory, I think, at this point. Or it's uh, not a terrible idea to just two-turn the ghost ship, right? Okay. I feel like if I was Christian, those bombers are going as fast forward as possible. Well, you probably assume that ship 4 and ship 2 are going to K-turn. Right. So they'll just can't turn it right through the rock. So you're saying go there, block it, and bump two of them, take less shots, and then maybe get your auto blaster on one? That's right. That's how I would do it. Because Christian's going to K turn number two for sure. Yeah, 100%. Uh, number and four, four as well. He'd be probably no reason not to. And the hard two from the ghost would block that. Don't you There's think? probably, yes. And there's probably no reason for number one not to go forward also, right? You just think three straight blast over the rock or just a bank? blast over. I'd probably just blast. I'd probably do a two bank ship left yeah. and then K turn the next turn. Yeah. So the, the two-turn with the ghost might be a, actually, a then, spicy maneuver. But then he won't be able to auto-blaster him, though. But he's and not he taking shots. Be, that's They're true. splitting up. And that's mm -hmm. really what's going to what's gonna be important right now. If you can split these bombers up, you still have he can peel a them decent off and, amount of health you might be able to make this work. And if he can mitigate the amount of shots he takes each round, he has a higher probability of being able to start whittling them down and eking that's them right. out. That's right. That's right. Interesting. Well, it'd be interesting to see. He's he's got his plan, so he's figured it out. I think right now the pressure is kind of on Christian to keep the pressure on. That's Alan. right. You know, you never go down without a fight. You can win any game. It's a variance game. Mm -hmm. Bombers don't have shields. One good crit could really mess up one of the ones if you're in a one-on-one -on -one engagement. Yeah. So he has elected to just go straight, one yep. straight bump, clear one of his 450 stresses. One of infinite. I believe yeah. the number is still infinite. And, yeah, okay. So what did Christian do exactly what you said he would? Mm -hmm. So now I think that does still give Alan a shot on... Ooh, was he on the rock? Uh, I'm going to say no. Oh, I think that's a yes. Yep. Oh. Just clipping it. Oh. It did move, so it's just going to clip. So I think they're going to... They're going to rule as he hit the rock? I, I th Yes, okay. there you go. There. Oh, ooh, and the crit. And that's a crit. And that is... Uh, thrust control fire, I think. Receive the stress. It looked like thrust control fire. I might be wrong. We'll get our live update momentarily as to what the stress or the, the crit was. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a... We got oh, a major, major hull hole. breach. Interesting. Alan so I think that was a good play from Alan, though, because now he's going to be able to wipe one off the board because he's got target lock on him. He's got his primaries. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it is unfortunate. He is going to take two more rounds of firing from those other two ships. Uh, and probably from and Christian, I would three bank or two bank uh, yeah, bomber three. three ships, he is going to eat three shots. Yes. So it's, I mean, it's tough. Like, this ghost is just, it's it, it's not outclassed, it's just it's outgunned. Yeah. I mean, the, you can never count out a ghost. It's an amazing ship. It, it can do a lot of wonderful things, but it's just, Christian has so many firing arcs right now. Still, it doesn't right? do well against four ship shooting. Guys. Nothing really in this game does. I mean, you could have Sooner Fell out there. I mean, well, maybe Sooner Fell, but yeah. you know good. what I mean. For sure. We have zero agility, two dice attacks are scary. Uh, you remember Sooner Fell? Yeah. I remember Sooner Fell. I mean, big hero, wave one to nine. He might, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he had his time. He had his time. Go home, Soonerfell. Make space for scum. 
for Ventress. Yeah, Ventress. I'm the fell now. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's, as you were saying, this is going to be a ton <laughs> of damage coming Alan's way. This could be uh, could be the end of our friend the ghost. Oh, what's hull? Was it hull left now? Is that four? Six, six hulls, yeah. So this could very potentially... Was that uh, damage from the console fire? Oh, that was the console fire damage, yeah. which unfortunately... Let's see what he has. I think he took... Did he take damage from the console fire, or was it okay? Uh, console see. fire only hits, I believe. Okay, so that was a crit that he rolled? Yes. Hey, there you go. One in eight chance, and that was a, in his favor. I like how they're still trying to track stress on that ghost because there's really no point. Yeah, and they took it away. There's and they put it back again. Oh, it's still still consistent hit. Oh, and he's got a turbo roll. lock. And All right, okay. one hit. Yeah. Range three obstructed. So, yeah, you kind of want to make this evade. No op spec triggers. So if you're Christian, do you hope you miss to trigger your op spec, uh, or do you just take the one range. damage? You won't be in range, really. Um, well, op spec triggers on on any ship that misses, I believe. Yeah, yeah. they're in one to two of you. Right. The one focus is only at best worth one damage in the ship, anyways. Yeah, so you at this point you take the consistent damage. That's Ooh. where that's what he that's needed. What the ghost wants. Finally, he's getting some green dice in his favor, and Opspec won't trigger because uh, he's out of range. So that 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 was a result that finally went Alan's way for once. Now let's see if we can get some more results going his way. What he needs is he needs Christian to start missing. Yes. And he's not missing, so that's another damage under the ghost. Um, so now he, he, what he really has to have happen is he really needs those does dice to be in his favor this time. He needs his attack dice to come through for him. He needs to kill this barn. Now he does have FCS. He is using primary for the results. And right. That's oh. Absolutely not what he needs. I think um, using Han Solo is probably not what you want here. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't Han Solo. You definitely spend lock. target lock. Yep, he's got lock and he'll yep. get it back after this attack from fire, fire control system. He just needs better results. And, we got and he got hit hits. crit, which is still avoidable because of the rock. Oh my oh. god, this is just not fair. I mean, it is fair because it's dice and it's random and it's variant. It just, sometimes it feels like when, when, when kind of things are sliding down a hill, it just kind of feels like the dice have decided to rains, turn on you. Yeah, and, uh, and, and that's tough. Not, not being able to wipe off that one ship was a problem because if, if, if he could have taken off that bomber, he'd still be in a very bad situation. I think they're discussing exactly where it all went down. I think... They just are they still playing it out? Or have they decided to say we know where this is ending? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's something to play somewhere else. We just flick the stress and anger. Okay. I think, well, you know, <laughs> you know, he's not a robot. People, he is a human. He's allowed to have feelings. And and if I was him, I would have flipped the table already. That's some salty dice. That's some salty dice. Yeah. He should salt those those beautiful Marvel Regionals dice or the Nationals. I don't know. Oh, he's definitely rolled them a thousand times. He's a yeah. statistician. Yeah, that's absolutely true. So, so I mean, I guess at this point, do you do the obvious K turn? Do you have any other option? You're just gonna remember you're shooting last. Yeah. So where are you? you know, yeah, he has no option. He can't. He can't go slow because he sits on rocks. If he does, the the space between that does not look like enough space for the ghost to fit. It, be, it might be able to make a three bank ship left towards number three. But even if it does, what does it matter? It's going to hit a range one and shoot first. Yes. I You're think. sitting on two hull or three hull? I think the 5K is his only option because it's unblockable. Yeah. Hopefully get the range and had he not had the instructions. Had he not had the damaged cockpit, he would have, Christian would have been able to block that with another hard two. Yes. Do you even want to block it at this point, though? Just put the guns no. down and win, right? I think you just want guns. I think everybody just goes forward, banks, whatever. They don't even care. So rock placement was a massive factor in this game. Absolutely, absolutely massive factor. And where they decided... And where they decided to have the engagement was an additional massive factor. So they really haven't moved from the middle of the board state since the since since they kind of first engagement sort of. It's all been around this one mm -hmm. relative area. And the other unfortunate thing now is that basically uh, bomber one is just it's, it's going to fly away. It's gone, and then yeah, he will not, not be able to put it down. And what's really bad for him now is that he's got to start all over again on a new bomber, and does he change his target lock, and then blah, 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 and it's, it was really, really tough for him to only get two hits out of that last attack, and to Christian to evade all of it, that was a tough, that was a raw deal, it was tough. Yeah. Because now, here we go, three, now we're going to have uh, four arcs, if Christian won banks with bomber three, which he did, we're going to have four arcs, and I think you're going to see, I think you got game, set, match on this round. 
I think Bomber 1 is probably out of range, but I really don't think it matters at this point. No, because 4 and 2 can easily get into range. They can do one one bank and one straight respectively, yep. or whatever it is, and you know, he's taking the target lock for the range 1, assuming he might get an op-spec from the rest, so... This is really solid and consistent play flying from Christian here. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He likes his swarm. You know, those swarm players really stick with their swarm. Well, it's such a it's such an acquired skill. I mean, I've I've tried a mini swarm with even four academy ties, and I was like, I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm crashing and everything. I'm garbage. It's it's not an easy thing to do. And once you've cracked it and you know how to do it, it's it's really powerful and terrifying. As you can yeah. you can see what you can do to your opponent with blocking, and there's a reason why swarm was relatively meta agnostic for almost nine waves until you know. Uh, cracked out Dengar came out, but now that he's been kind of adjusted, do we get to see Swarms come back again? Let's hope so. I mean, the Striker is such a great ship. Oh, I mean, I adore the Striker. Ah. I, I mean, it's brain melting to try to fly a Striker Swarm. Uh, I tried flying for three of them with Echo, and it's, it's it's really fun for one game, but it's not a tournament list because, well, it might be a tournament list for someone better than me, but it's a uh, it's a brain melting list. But yeah, the Striker is an amazing ship. I mean, have three dice striking out like that, so. So what do we got here? So Bomber 1 is out of range? No, he's rolling. Okay. All right, one hit. As he has a target lock. Nope. Okay. No, that would have been from 2, because that one's the only one that had a target lock. So um, yeah, did Alan sense. manage to evade, or did he take damage yet he again? damage. Oh. I mean, I guess, do you want damage, or do you want... I think at this point, if you're Christian, spec? just put the damage down. Yeah. If you roll dice, it's well, going to take... There you go. There you that's go. the game. That's it. So the real question at the end of the game is unguided rockets. Are we going to see a whole bomber list with them soon? Uh, you're going to see one. I'm going to fly it. I <laughs> think right. it's incredible. Unguided rockets with uh, with um, lightweight frames. You can get five of them, I think. That sounds amazing. That sounds like heaven. Yeah. FFG, please. It's going to be interesting to see. It's, 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 the bombers, the resurgence is, is huge. I love the bomber. Up. Yeah. The bomber's a great ship. And visually, it's a really cool looking ship, too. Yeah.